Okay, the video you're about to see is the unboxing and opening up of one of the Chinese MPPTs. This one is kind of sort of unnamed where I'm going to give you a, a site. Look at below the video. And right there in blue, you will see where you can click on it and go straight to this. They have numerous options, 15 amp, 20 amp, 30 amp, 40 amp, and then 50 amp. And realize that the one that's labeled 50 amp, I wouldn't recommend. And you'll see why and where it shows the fusing and the, uh, the over voltage settings for those. But the 40 amp is the same identical weight as the 50 amp. It's heavier than the 30 amp, which means it has a bigger torad in it. You'll see inside this pretty quick. This one is branded as the Solar Eagle Professional MPPT. Look for the link down below to get you to where you can get more details on it. And look, continue to read below the video and I will put on all those details I can. This is about 125 bucks for 40 amp and it's very good. So let's go to the unboxing of this thing. All right, so what am I getting for my Christmas gift? is a little thing made in China, like everything. It's called Solar Epic. I'm going to be uh, doing an open up of this, so stay tuned. We're going to open the box up. I've removed label here, and the box is 100% unopened. Package DHL Express. So let's get it open, and we'll see what we got here. This is a 40 amp MPPT, and we're going to see exactly what its true nature is. Now opened up, we have in here a MPPT solar charge controller adopting advanced MPP technology high conversion efficiency. And it does have a computer port where you can hook it up. We'll open this box up. All right, now what we have here is the item out of the box and it says high end quality solar charge controller 40 amp. Okay, and we're going to see what it does for its winter time because um, this is uh, December the 20th and I want to find out what this thing can do. We'll do a review with a single panel here pretty soon. This is the unit. Now, it comes with some basic paperwork. It is, I guess there's your, your information there, maximum PV voltage. For the 15 and 20 is 100 volt. For 30 amp is uh, 30, 40, and 50 is 150. Now there was a reason that I bought the 40 amp, and the number one reason for that is because it has a circuit breaker in it of 45 amps. This one 35 amps, and the 50 one has one of of 50. <laughs> Strange, which means they are all the same size. 40 amp fuses, a temperature sending unit temperature sensor okay it goes for your bad reason things and a port to hook it up to your computer so you can check it out and it comes with solar eagle professional mppt solar charge controller manufacturer uh, solar eagle so we're, our brand we're going to call it is solar eagle it comes with a CD-ROM so that we can put in the computer and program the computer for it. Now, this is the unit. Now, it's kind of beefy. It's kind of heavy. This thing is not light. So it's obviously got some weight in it. It's not small. Has some pretty good size. It's got some white paint or something on that. Pretty good size cooling on it. Pretty relevant. Um, Grab you a tape measure right quick here. Okay, now I'm gonna take a tape measure and give you some idea of dimensions here. Now the 30, 40, and 50 are all the same size. However, the 40 and 50 weigh the same. This one here is about eight and three quarters wide. Let me give you that. Let me give you that with the footing here. This one here is about, including its footing, about nine and a half inches wide, five and three quarters tall. Um, in height and it would protrude off of your wall about three and five eighths inches. I'm going to stop and I will remove the screws. We're not going to power this unit up but I'm going to show you the inside. We're going to look at the inside of this unit. Okay now I've removed the screws and the screws are in four points that go into the body, the plastic cover, at four points. Do not remove anything else. 
This one here has one and one thirty-second long, long cooling fins that are on a full one quarter inch gap and they look like they're about 16th inch wide almost so eighth inch or almost an eighth now the inside of the unit here's the nice part it is an mppt it does have it does have a brain it does have full computer function that, that allows all the programming to go on it does have numerous high bedded heavy bedded uh MOSFETs that are for uh, doing your power conversion. It does have a, a uh, an additional brain for all your, your settings and everything else that's, that's going with it. And as far as I can tell, the uh, capacitors in it are 160 volt. Can you read that? 160 volt, 220, so they're pretty smooth. It does have a additional uh, feed that goes into it for some other purpose over here. The temperature probe for your batteries has a plug for it right over here. And you have two USB ports. One from what I understand has a function, the other one is for like charging or something at four amps. So if you look at the size of the lugs here, uh, for mounting everything on it does have the typical Chinese thing where they want you to try to power stuff off of it So it has a in and out fuse so power in power out fuse Which is good. You know, you don't find that with a lot of them and the relay for over temp If you start to over temp, it'll just disconnect from that one right there. It does have the ability To have internal cooling which it has an internal cooling That will feather out the system and switch it to PWM that is very smart and it has Look at this baby, a very, very heavy toroidal transformer, a torad, that is right here, and it is really a solid monster. And what they did is they used an enameled spun wound wiring system instead of a single heavy gauge. That ought to really change the frequency. This is actually quite a nice unit. I'm startled by it. I, I didn't think it would be this good. So the brand. You probably won't find these anywhere. Solar Eagle. I'm going to put this link to where I got mine at, and there's only one guy dealing them as far as I know. Solar Eagle. It is on. Uh, uh, it is on eBay, and it comes with looks like a fairly well filled. You see how much of that CD is is uh, covered in in data. You know, the more they the more they're solid colored like that, the more data they're loaded with. So the thing is, is that this is a real MPPT. This is a multi PowerPoint tracking and it's, it's real. It's very real. Uh, there's a lot of fake ones going around out there. This one is real. All right. So you've seen the basic review of this and the way that it's designed is uh, pretty effective and pretty efficient. It has good high voltage capacitors on it and pretty decent size wire. The wire on here is that braided heavy enameled wire and you can I mean it feels very heavy enameled I do believe that with the size of those MOSFETs those power MOSFETs in here that it's probably going to be a fairly dependable unit and that's what generally fails on them so what do you want to do you want to either buy one of these at a hundred and a quarter 130 bucks has all the ability to set all the parameters okay with this screen here has a whole bunch of features on this screen and I'll get over here and open this right quick. All right, and opening the book up on it, you can see all the different things that'll come up on your uh, screen there. I'll give you a little idea. Um, it's pretty simple to use. There's, there's no real difficult issues as far as the settings and other things that are done with it. it the book is, is not in what they call Chinglish. It's actually in extremely good English and very well written. Um, I do believe that when you get it hooked up and you try it on your computer and it does work on, as far as I could tell, the Windows 7 system and Windows 10 and all that, it is not very hard to, uh, to set this for, for parameters that you want to use. Kind of nice. You have a choice. You can get a tracer. You can get one. Tracers are about $175, $160, some $200. 
uh, but you can try one of these. might be your first MPPT, and you might enjoy it, and it might not be the greatest thing in the world either. However, it looks very well constructed, heavily, heavily, heavily coated board, and I would recommend it. So, like I said, down there at the bottom of that link, you can find all the information that comes in one of the booklets, pretty much, and uh, kind of study it if you're interested. So far, they look really good. All right, guys, a real MPPT, not one of those fake ones. Be careful. They're putting MPPT on everything that's either PWM or click switch or whatever. They're putting it on everything. Only get one that's got Toradol and the real true MOSFETs and heavy capacitors. Otherwise, it's a fake.